All right, so Tesla also updated their Model Y website. So I'll just go ahead and refresh this page so you can see what it looks like. So the Model Y, as we have talked about many times, the Model Y is Tesla's latest vehicle. It's gonna be their SUV on the Model 3 base. And this new uh, website actually is beautiful and it really helps represent what this car is all about. So of course, they've got the photo of the Y, which contains a lot of the aspects. If you want to go into more detail about this vehicle, check out the configurator video, um, which is also going to be on our channel. I'll try to have it linked below as well. If we go on to the next slide, over here they have the safety. They don't have too much stuff here since the NHTSA has not rated it yet, but they do state basically the same stuff as they have in Model 3 S and X, which is the low center of gravity, the impact protection. So this is the crumpled zone up here and it's a rigid structure. So they hope to have five stars. Anyways, over here we have the rest of the interior. So they have seating for seven with the optional third row. So again, the seating for seven, I don't think it's gonna be the best option because these seats in the back, they do not have headrests. So I don't think that's going to be very comfortable for anyone in the back. But who am I to say I haven't felt it? So that's going to be for you to decide. Other than that, this gives us a very nice look at the interior with the door handles here. It's a very simple door. In fact, it looks like the exact same design from the Model 3. Also, the display lo looks to be a little larger. I'm not sure about that though. The seats look to be quite larger and quite more comfortable since this is the SUV. So it's going to have uh, more comfort. It's going to be more of like a longer, longer trip uh, vehicle. So like for road trips or something, this is going to be a great vehicle for that. Go to the next page. We talk about their uh, performance. So this is the all wheel drive version. It also has a nice little spoiler on the back and the tail lights and all look like the exact same pulled from the Model 3. It has a 3.5 seconds zero to 60, which is just insane. And one thing that I did mention in the, um, in the overview video is that it uh, is not capable in rain, snow. It, basically I said that it's not an off-roading vehicle. They do say that it's able to do that. Now, I'm going to dispute that, and I think that we won't know for sure until the car actually comes out, but I don't think that this car is gonna do so well off-road. And the reason I say that is because the wheels are just 18 inches for standard, and 18 inches for a vehicle of this size and with that much clearance, I don't think it's gonna do well. So, I, I don't know, I hope Tesla proves me wrong, but that's my theory. We'll know for sure soon. Also, the dual motor all-wheel drive has the two independent motors, one for the front uh, one for the front, and one for the back. If we go down, it talks about the range, which is 300 miles of range, so a longer range of any SUV on the road. Of course, they're going to say that. And supercharging in just 15 minutes, so this is the Supercharger V3, which this car is uh, compatible with. Also, I mean, just in these shots, you can just see how beautiful this, uh, this vehicle looks. I think that they've done a great job designing this vehicle after learning from the design with the Model X, which not too many people were fond of, given I really love the design of the Model X, but I think that this is also a very, very attractive design. If we go down, they talk about autopilot. This is just the same as every other Tesla vehicle and every other Tesla vehicle's autopilot. And then the interior, which is the 15 inch touchscreen. So actually it doesn't, it isn't actually larger, but it does look larger. I don't know why. Um, they also have the over-the-air updates, just like any other vehicle, and they have the full panoramic roof here, which is very nice. Very, I mean, I can't say anything else. It's just, it's a really nice experience. Once you sit in it, you'll see what I mean. If we go down, they just have more specs. This is just gonna be general specs. If you wanna read through this, you can pause here. I'll show you the expanded list. But I don't think that that's too important to go over. We've covered most of this already. This is a long range, standard range, and long range rear wheel drive. Anyways, uh, if we go down here, we go to the last order now page and we do have a configurator video, so make sure to check that out. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to do a more overview of the Model Y with the new website. So if you did enjoy the video, hit the like button and uh, hit the subscribe button since there's a lot of great content coming up. See you in the next one.